One is your exam, and uh, you have data about that exam on your um, the, the, the uh, Excel file. That's what I was trying to pull up because I want us to use that a little bit. So let me give you these things. Grades range from very, very high to not so high. Um, but was there a normal distribution? There was, there was not a normal distribution. Uh, it was negatively skewed. I should ask you that. Look at the data. Can you tell that it's negatively skewed? I can't see the data. You could if you had opened up your Excel file. Ah. Oh. Got me there. You got me there. Read your email. I saw the email. I said I can't bring my computer. It's too big. A big old computer. Let's see what my phone can do. know about where you were. Here is your second homework assignment. Your first homework assignment, I don't even remember how many points it was. I've got to go back and figure that out. But you all had perfect scores on your first homework assignment. Your second homework assignment, everybody, every single person had 24 out of 25. Okay? And you tell me if you tell me if uh, I have that wrong on your the score wrong, or did I in, in fact find something wrong for your on yours? And what did I find wrong on some of yours? Whoops! And was in fact it wrong? So this this was a a test for you to look at some things, but there was one particular thing that I checked on every single every single one every single one, and not a one of us, not one person got that correct. And what was that? It was the citation. So I'm going to, let, let me just. Okay, so read what, they, read what this, the directions tell us. Provide the proper APA citation reference for the article slash paper. Okay, read it, read it the way that it was, it is uh, punctuated or read, that it's written. Provide the proper APA citation reference for the article such paper. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just as you should. Oh, there you get that. Just as you should. <laughs> a bibliographic entry and a manuscript you submit to an APA compliant journal. What does it tell you to do? In all caps, shouting at you. <laughs> yes, do you it exactly you like you have to do it on your thesis or... or Dissertation, or if you're writing it, it's very different from typing. Like if you're typing, we would have been. Done. If you if you're if you're writing it out, that's fine too. You got to show me that what you're doing. You can show me that. I can show you that on the, the screen, on up here, like that. Okay. So a couple of kinds of things that are really really important on APA style. In the first place, APA is. Just quit handing them out, didn't I? I? I did. I just stopped handing them. I 
I don't know what I... <laughs> any rhyme or reason to them. They're all scored alike and stuff. I just quit doing it. So what are the what are the kinds of things that just like that I can find? Someone said what was wrong with yours? Double space. It's there there to be double space. In fact, if you submit a manuscript for an APA compliant journal, how is that manuscript to be submitted? Digitally? Yes, digitally. But in what kind of format? Double space. The whole damn thing, double space. What about tables? Double space. What did we say? Anything? The whole blasted thing, double space. So double space is one. What's another idiosyncrasy of an APA compliant reference citation? Hanging indent. Hanging indent. It is a hanging indent. Uh, I have recently, I won't tell you whom, but recently I've had several, recently had a defense. And I went through this, this uh, uh, dissertation slash thesis a couple of times, and as I was making corrections electronically, I noticed that something was weird about the... Um, about my corrections or my edits, a few edits of his APA format. And when it would go to the second line, if I, if I corrected the first line, you know how you use tra a change tracker, and if it goes, if it pushes stuff out to the second line, where should the second line start? Yeah, it should start uh, hanging in that five spaces in kind of thing. A half inch. Yeah. Does that be a half inch? Maybe not. That's just okay. And I noticed that all of his stuff was a half inch in, but when I corrected it and that stuff spilled over the second line, it didn't indent it to. I said, What did he do? You know what he did? When he got to the end of that, he knew it was supposed to be hanging in the end. So when he got to the end of the first line, it was a full length, and wanted the second one to be in Demi five spaces, he hit return and then hit tab. Yeah. And I said, you can do that. You can do it that way. But if you do, every time there's a correction, if that correction adds that you're going to have to change your Return your enter tab if it's on the first line and stuff. I said, you do not want to do that. Go back. And in fact, the APA, many APA compliant journals, because you submit it electronically, they'll send the sucker back to you and say, look, we're trying to co correct this stuff, and we're not going to go through there and correct all your formatting. They'll just send you man the manuscript back to you. So the hanging dent should be done with the hanging and dent feature. What I wrote on his on the stuff was, hey, see one of your committee members. We can show you how to do this. This was a little bit mean. I said, or just about anyone else can tell you how to do this. Was that mean? I said, I said, or about any other graduate student can tell you how to do that. Because you know how to do the hanging and dent, don't you? So Hanging in. What other kinds of things? This was on the exam. What other kinds of things do you not have in your... You don't have anything underlined. Okay? So if you have a, a URL and it's underlined, you've got to go in there and edit. This is crazy. Some of one of these days, are going because some journals, they'll turn the URL back on. Don't ask me why that is. Now, what's the purpose for a citation? Helps like figure out what, where you got your information. Okay, to figure out it. To figure out and what else? Not just okay. Here's where you got it. To verify. To credit the author. Verify. How do you verify? How would you? Yeah. How would you verify? That's where you got it. You go go to it. Go find the book. <laughs> Or go to the so, web page. 
go to some library and see if they got, you know, Webster's That's right. You would go. The purpose for a citation is not just so you'll know where it came from. It's where you can actually find his citation, hit, hit that reference. You can, you can verify the accuracy of that information. And they can interpret it correctly. And Maybe they could have read something. They, they could have interpreted, but that's the whole purpose. It's not. It's to verify a quote is exact, but to verify the. And so you need to supply all the information that one needs to use to easily find that. What does APA say is the? What is today the gold standard thing that you provide on the end of a? Citation, if it has one. The DOI, isn't it? The DOI. I've never figured out how that helps you because have you ever have you ever copied the you know, DOI and put it up there in the URL? Well, yes. It doesn't work, does it? No. Why the hell is that such a good thing to do? <laughs> I have never figured that out because it doesn't work. Well, if you put it into like EBSCOhost, yeah, like a library. If you what? If you put it into like EBSCOhost, it'll pull it up. Like if you have a library or a library database, you can see it. Yeah, if you put it in. Yeah. 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 Where do most people try to pull up a document? Online. Online from their computer. They're going. They want to put that DOI in a URL. Yeah. And it doesn't work. So I haven't figured out why. The, but I don't get to make the rules. I just have to follow them. <laughs> okay? And I try to follow them. Why should you try to follow them? So you Not just because they say you should. Homework. Huh? So you don't get points, so you won't get points off in your homework. So your That's paper, one thing. That's a minor little thing, let me tell you. So your manuscript gets approved or... So your manuscript gets approved and you get published and you get... Tenured and promoted. <laughs> there you go. That's why you don't have errors in your citation. At this point, a point off on homework is a little bitty thing. You're, and, and is that a big issue? Is that a big problem? Is it, does it really, does it really uh, uh, change the Earth's rotation if you don't have that correct? No, it doesn't. What does it introduce, though? It introduces noise into the manuscript. You know, what is noise? What are you trying to, what, what is the reader trying to do when they read your manuscript? They're trying to hear it. They're trying to understand it. And if there's noise in there, if you've got 17 or 70, 11 errors in your citations, what noise does that introduce to the reader? This person is sloppy. Why should I believe anything they say when they can't even get something as simple as a citation when it tells you how to do them here? So, I don't know. Uh, this is statistics. But it's also our graduate class that says do things the way that the, the profession says to do it. Okay, enough about doing about that, I guess. Um, okay, let's go back to this thing and let me let me see if it oh this goofy thing is gonna work now. Um, what I want us to do it's to spend a little time oh god it didn't do anything <laughs> did you hold the button down long enough for it to I turned it off turn it. <laughs> did, did it do anything Look up there, help me here. What does that mean? It's oh, it's not on. Oh, oh, I didn't plug it in. You told me that before. I didn't want to show you my ignorance, but now I'll just show you this ignorant thing. Oh. It's not ignorance, sir. It's like a processor on a computer. You can only handle so much at one given time. 
especially but in this stressful. It's a proven thing. It doesn't. Well, it's when you need it, that's what's wrong. It's in there. Right. All it says is we own your soul of Texas A&M. That's all it says. Yeah. Yay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's up here. That it, didn't, it that just means they're it, watching you. They didn't pull it off of this thing. Oh, that's good. Don't ask me. Let's see. I want to see if I can get you my laptop. Who is that Paul? I don't know. You're trying to recycle. I think no, I'm trying to turn the damn thing on. That's what I say. Okay. I think he's the tallest, probably the tallest person. I don't think he could write that high there. So, <clears throat> I can pull that up. It's mighty neat. How do I pull this thing up? Is anyone better with computers than that? No, probably oh, not. My laptop updated. You plug it in with the HDMI cable.